Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful fine flowers Hichol style beaded bracelet. In my last video I showed you how to make those earrings and now I'm going to show you how to connect those elements in a bracelet. When I showed you the earrings I told you it's a beginner's level project and it is really easy and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make this by yourself and uh, if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and uh, it's a good idea to do this because as you see I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like this bracelet matching the earrings that I showed you in my last video and I might also make a ring later with this work and um, that's why it's a good idea to hit the bell and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find full list of materials links to amazon where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using for this video are four colors of 11 oz seed beads you could use 10 oz seed beads if you want and here i use a gym ring and a clasp lobster's claw clasp you could use any type of clasp you like here i use nylon thread that is two millimeters or size D, this is Nemo. And here I use size 10 beading needle, beadsmith needle and scissors. And down there in description, you could find links uh, where you could buy supplies from on Amazon. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And now what I'm going to do is take six red beads. Okay, I have my six here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And now I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure and I pull and now I have this okay and now what I want to do is go in my next red bead like this and I'm going to take one orange bead and I will go back in circle through this red one here Okay, and I pull and when I pull you see what I have something like a loop between my beads okay then I'm going in my following red bead taking just one orange like this and going back in circle through this red one okay I have the same thing here then I'm going in my following red like this take one orange and do the same thing go back in circle through this red one here okay and now guys I'm going to repeat this three more times Okay, now I finish this row and what I do in my next step is that as I'm exiting from this red one, I'm going back through this orange like this. 
Okay, now I'm exiting through this orange. And what I want to do next is flip my work in this direction. It's easier for me to work in this direction because I'm right-handed. What I want to do is take two yellow beads and I want to go back through this orange like this. Then I want to take two more yellow beads and go through the following orange. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, these are the last two yellow beads from this row. And what I'm going to do next is exit in my following yellow beads, okay? Like that. And now what I need is yellow, red, and yellow, okay? Like this. And I'm going back in circle through these yellow beads. Now I have this. Then I'm going in my orange and I'm going to take just one orange bead and go back in circle through the orange and I want to exit through my two yellow beads after this orange and as I'm exiting from these two yellows I need yellow, red, yellow like this and I'm going back in circle and you could also go through the following orange like this. Okay, and I pull one orange go through the orange and if you can go through the following two yellows. Okay, like this, and then yellow, red, yellow, and go back in circle through these two yellows, then again orange. Okay, and now guys continue this until the end of this row and I'll meet you here at this last orange. So yellow, red, yellow, orange, yellow, red, yellow, orange, yellow, red, ye yellow, orange, and I'll meet you here in a while. Okay guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last orange bead in my work, okay, like this. And now I want to exit out of this yellow here. I'm going to take three yellow beads. Like this, I have three yellows here. And I'm skipping the red one and going in the following yellow. Now you see what I have. I have my first flower ready. Then I'm skipping the orange and I'm going out of my next yellow. And what I want to take are three yellow beads. Okay, three yellow beads. And I'm skipping the next three beads. My goal is to exit out of my next yellow. And I'm going to show you one more time like this and I'm sure you're gonna be able to continue by yourself to finish this row and I'll meet you here in a while. Okay guys and I'm here where I'm just adding my last three yellows. 
from this row and what I want to do is go through these top three yellow beads of my flower okay I'm going through this, this and this the top three beads and I'm taking three green beads and now I want to go again through this top three yellow beads of my flower that I added in my last row okay I'm going through three beads and I want to take three green beads okay I have this and I'm going in my following flower and in these top three yellow beads I added in my last row okay I'm going to show you one more time three beads go here and I'm going to continue this off camera three more times and I'll meet you here in a while okay guys and now I'm exiting out of this yellow and now I'm exiting through this the next yellow and my goal guys is to exit in the first green bead okay the first green of my tree that I added in my last row and now what I need are three greens okay I have them I skip this middle green bead here and I go through the following you see I hope you see my thread okay and I pull now I have this then I'm going to skip again these three yellow beads and my goal is to exit in my next green one if you can do this in one movement okay and now again I need three green beads skip the one that's in the middle go through this green through the following yellow beads and exit in the next green one okay and I'm going to show you one more time and I'll let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay adding three and continue three 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 pause this video rewind it if you have to see this how I'm doing these steps and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and now what I want to do is go here through all of my beads in this direction and I want to reach my next yellow and these guys will be the first element of my bracelet that is why here I'm going to attach my clasp okay and in order to attach my clasp I will take it and I will take three orange beads my connection color will be orange because it's it is the splitter color in my flower too and I'm going here through this clasp and then I'm going to take three more orange beads so this is what I take three orange beads my clasp and three orange beads okay then in my next step I'm going back through this orange one like this and now guys I'm going to reinforce this work but I will do an additional step here I will go here to the first orange then I want to skip this one in the middle and go in the next orange okay and when I pull and push my bead to this side and when I pull you see what I have something like an angle then 
I will go in my following orange, skip the middle orange and go in this direction. Okay, and pull again. Now you see what I have here. And you might want to go reinforcing uh, this place one more time where your clasp is. And after that, you should go and make a knot and cut your thread. And I will choose a place to make a knot. Let's say here after this green bead here. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop, going once, going second time through this loop I've made and pull. And I will go in my next seed bead and I'm going to cut my thread. Ok guys, and now I'm going to make another element. You could continue making yellow elements or you could make a red with red uh, flowers. I will make one with red flowers by flipping my yellow and red colors. If you want to see how I'm doing this, see the earrings that I did uh, in my last video. But you could continue with this color if you like it better. Okay, and I'll be here in a while to show you how I'm connecting this uh, red element to this one. Okay, guys, and now I did my red flowers element. And I'm going to connect it to this one. And how I'm doing this, as I'm exiting from this red one, I want to go through the green beads here ok and I will turn my work in this direction ok like that now I'm going to take one orange bead I told you that I will use the orange for my connection color ok and I will go back through this green one ok like that and I need another orange and I'm going back here in circle through the other green bead okay I'm connecting these angle beads here with orange beads like this and I will make an, a reinforcement of these four beads four beads in a cross. This is called right angle weave. Okay. Now I reinforced my work. You could make another reinforcement if you want. And now I'm going through all of those beads because I want to reach my next angle green bead. Okay. I'm going here through those red beads and the green ones and my goal is to exit here at the angle just like that okay and now I want to take one orange bead and I want to go through the other angle bead here like this this is the same thing that I did here I will take another orange and go back here and I will make a reinforcement here of my work one or two reinforcements whatever you like okay and now my thread is almost over and I'm going to cut it and I will start my next element with a new thread okay and now I'm going to make a knot I'm going here between those two red beads and I'm making here a loop and I'm going once 
and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull then I'm going in my next seed bead like this and I'm going to cut my thread okay okay guys and I'm going to continue adding more and more elements of this kind now it comes the yellow then I will add a red and I'm going to connect them the same way I'm making the element I'm not cutting my thread and I'm connecting it to this one and I will continue this until I have eight elements for red and for yellow and I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have. I added more and more elements the same way I showed you. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind this video and repeat these steps. Okay, and now I just connected my last element. And now what I want to do is go here at this yellow bead. And in order to do this, I will go through all of my beads in this direction. And here I'm going to attach my jump ring and in order to attach it I will take seven orange beads okay and now I have my seven beads here and I'm going to take also my jump ring I have this now and I will go back in circle through this yellow bead like this then in my next step I will do what I did before when I was attaching my clasp okay I'm going here through the first orange then I'm going to skip the following orange Okay, now I will push this central orange in this direction and you see I have something like an angle here. This bead goes in this direction when I make this new thread pad and now I'm going to skip the following orange bead okay, and pull it like this. Okay. Now in my next step I'm also skipping this orange bead and what I do is that I go through one orange and skip the following. This is what I do here. Okay and when I pull this is what I have. And you might want to go reinforce this one more time, but I won't make you watch me reinforcing it. And in my next step, I will go in the following seed bead here in this yellow. And my goal is to find a place where to make a knot, okay? And I will make a knot the same way I showed you before, making here a loop and going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and I'm going here in my following green bead like that. And now I'm going to cut my thread and now guys my bracelet is ready. Okay guys and now my Hichol style fine 
uh, flowers, seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. In this way, you will be notified when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like in my last video, I showed you these earrings and I might show you a ring later. And if you want to support me, it's a good idea also to like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links to my store, link for Amazon where you could buy supplies from and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.